All right, lass. When we get there, let me do all the talking. Calypso has a bit of a temper. You say the wrong thing and she may cast us out in the middle of the sea. Not that that would be a problem for you. Well, she shouldn't be mad. At least, I hope not. Uh, we may have had a minor disagreement when we last parted. She thought a jewel was hers. I disagreed. And took it from her chamber while she slept. <laughs> what, lass? I'm a pirate. You expect me to be the perfect guest? I did apologize. Safely. By post. On the other side of the world. Whether she accepted it, though... Well, come on, lass. You can't say this won't be fun. You've never met a witch, have you? Besides, she owes me a favor. I saved her from a witch hunter a while back. She promised to repay me. I'm hoping she meant the good kind of repay, not the old tie you up to the ship's mast and whip you kind of repay. Relax, lass, it's fine. I've got this. I know it's hard to believe, but I can be quite a charmer. Very few have been able to withstand my seductive gaze. It's lost on you then, lass. Must be a mermaid thing. Mr. Granger! Is the rowboat ready? Breathe, man. I'll leave you in charge of the ship. You'll be safe from her magic from here. At least you should be. Hopefully she doesn't turn you into a frog. <laughs> Kidding, Mr. Granger. Jeez, man, you're too easy to scare. <sighs> Alright, fine. My apologies, then. Lass, give me your hand. We'll step onto the rowboat, be lowered to the waves, and head to her ship. Yes, that glowing ship over there. Calypso has always had a flair for the dramatic. Try not to worry. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's go. Lower us down, Mr. Granger. Now, we roll. Take those paddles. Do as I do. Together, lass. The key is to do it together. Right there. Now you've got it. Good. Look at you. I'll make a pirate out of you yet, lass. Easy, easy. Hold my hand. She's lifting us out. Show off. Relax, lass. It's okay. I'm not gonna let anyone harm you. Promise. Is that a promise you should really be keeping? <laughs> Calypso! Might I say you're looking ravishing today? Save it. Your charms may have worked once, but not again. I owe you a debt. Nothing more. Thank you for seeing us. Speak quickly. What is it you need? The last is a mermaid and her people... Now, get back on your boat and leave. <laughs> She's always like that. Let me talk to her alone. Stay here, okay? Good lass. You haven't even listened. themselves? Are you trying to get me killed? All I'm asking is for you to give us some options. Options? Sure. Here's one. Let the girl die and appease the gods. Let her live and their wrath will be upon all of us. You can't know that. You doubt me? You may know a lot about these seas, but the ways of magic are my domain, and she no doubt knows it too. Only a pure-hearted maiden willing to sacrifice their lives can appease the gods, and the time is drawing near. You're telling me that she has to die? That's absurd. Unless you're prepared to fight the sea gods themselves. 
Yes. And if I were? <laughs> then I would tell you you've lost your mind. If the gods were killed, the curse is broken, right? In theory, yes, but... Then we kill the gods. What? With your ragtag crew? With that ship? You are a fool. Even if I were to help you, it would not be enough. You're forgetting something, Calypso. There's treasure involved. That's all I need to get others on board. No fool would ever join this fight for a few gold coins. Oh, I'm not talking about coins. The lass has a treasure. A bounty under the sea. We do this. That treasure is ours. Idiot! Maybe so. But I've got to try. If you were to do this, and... <sighs> there's a big if. You would need a whole fleet of ships. Not even to mention at least five magic users. Leave the ship to me. Can you bring the magic users? Uh, I see. You're in love with her, aren't you? That's not what I'm saying. And you don't need to. Any fool can see it, plain on your face. Have you told her yet? It's not like that. Keep telling yourself that. How much time do we have until the gods get angry? A month. Maybe two at most. It'll be easier for me to tell the closer we get. The signs will be clear. Storms, odd monsters, ships vanishing into thin air. Once we get reports of that, we'll need to move. I can work with that. You should let her die. Get out of this while you still can. She's a mermaid. Even if she lives, do you think she'll stay with you? This land isn't her home. Even so, I can't let her. All right. You want to do this suicide mission? Fine. Get the ships, then contact me. I'll gather the magic users. Thank, Thank me if we survive. Now, do get out. You've ruined my peaceful day at sea. Pleasure seeing you, Calypso. It went well. She just needed a bit of convincing. But once I mentioned the treasure you promised me, she fell in line. <laughs> it's simple, lass. When fate decrees something, you tell fate to bug off. Look at me. This is your life. Do you really just want to lay down and die because someone else told you to? Or do you want to fight tooth and nail to survive? Lass. Lass. Shh. Come here. We are partners in this, Lass. You don't have to do this alone. Let me help you. Like I said, for the treasure, I expect the biggest cut. Is that clear? Good lass. Let's return to the ship then. We need to head to port. Say, how would you like to come and recruit a crew with me? <laughs> There's that smile. Let's go then.